Um, as mentioned in the previous comments, uh, back after a bit of a lengthy delay, and we're back to the 11 a.m. to midday working timetable. And the first train of the day is due 11.05, and it is the 9L42, which is the X0715 from Skipton to Carlisle pick up for it. It is due as I say at 11.05 and today it's being held being hauled by a Jinty 47266 which will perform in shunting duties as required. I uh, won't put you through the it's all three link coupling. I uh, won't put you through all the hassle of undoing and coupling up. I'll just cut that bit out as it can be a bit troublesome at my age and my eyes but uh, I'm sure you'll get the gist of it. Okay, so here we go. The train's arriving to be held at the outer home signal. And as usual, there's some uh, train uh, sounds in the background for a bit of ambience. Firemen will no doubt uh, take a walk down to the box, uh, advise the signalman what uh, vehicles are for depositing in the sidings, and the signalman will advise the driver, uh, sorry, the fireman, as to what you've got to collect. The driver's been advised to drop the brake van on the main line adjacent to the home signal and pull the rest of the train forward. So the whole train now, apart from the brake van, will draw forward past the uh, crossover points to gain refuge in the siding. The whole train is now in the siding and the local will uh, detach itself and then go forward and push the empty coal wagon, which is the signalman's coal supply, push that down to collect the other empty vehicles and loaded vehicles from the small goods siding in the station. Uh, the worst part of this is one of the point motors, which is one of these super duper cobalt point motors, and wait till you hear the noise out of it. So I do apologise for the noise. And that jump is that uh, one time I had KD couplings fitted in here, but they were very uh, troublesome to operate, and the magnets are still underneath, unfortunately. 
good just to pull the rake of empties out and the other loaded wagons and drop these by the signal box. There's a small run round look located here. The main train and then run round these empties, pick them up. That's how a cobalt point motor should sound. I'm very disappointed in them and the warranty's not worth the paper it's written on, believe me. The empties are drawn forward onto the down main. and then propelled back to the brake van the local then runs collects the Replacement wagons for delivery. So there's four wagons to be dropped off at Dent today. So again the first job is to drop them in the, the short loop. And the local run round light engine. And all the points on Dent station is uh, controlled by the signalman. And there are no hand operated points at Dent station at all. The driver now pushes the, the full loaded train back into the good siding.
And this is the signalman's pole. Then collects the, the bulk of the, the stock left in the refuge siding and takes it to couple up to the items on the main line. Well, hopefully, that was the last time you'll have to listen to that din from the point motor. I intend to replace that one with this, which is a different make. And I've got about 35 cobalts on this layout and they'll all be getting changed as they fail. I've already got a box of 10 which have failed and cobalt are not interested. Uh, telling me I've used the wrong voltage. It's the same voltage I've used on the other 34. So, as I say, the lifetime warranty is absolutely useless. diagram is to pull the full train forward of the crossover and reverse into the refuge just to allow passage of uh, faster trains as it's held the main line up now for 15-20 minutes or so. As an aside, I've not used three link couplings for a long, long time because uh, all my previous layouts have all been fairly complicated. Um, I, I do find it quite therapeutic having a nice proper shunting train rather than relying on tension locks. Um, as I mentioned, I did try KDs, but they didn't work out at all well. Well, that's the main line clear now. The local is slightly past the ground signal, but there is another ground signal in front of the box, so it's not breaking any regulations. So the main line is now clear for the next service to pass. Through.